All right, more home brewing videos. Um, I'm just getting the, still got the plastic on here, so I'll get that off. Make sure that you, make sure that you make a mess, you know. Um, uh, to contradict my earlier, to contradict my earlier statement, uh, you do need a clean area to mix the, the brew in or it would be very tricky if you didn't. So I, I initially mix the brew in the kitchen because it's the cleanest area. Um, the, um, the, because I, because I filled the, the barrel up with water yesterday, um, it hasn't dried out and there's not stuff just stuck or anything so the heater the heater came out very clean so I'll just I'll just give that a bit of a rinse off. Make sure that there's no little bits stuck in it. Um, it. Make sure that it's set on 24 degrees. Um, <coughs> And then with the barrel, um, and I've got my, my tube in there as well. Which it's just a tube; it doesn't take much cleaning. I just I do run a bit of boiling water through it. Um, the um, the serious part of this is this um, this part of it. Um, the bottling is pretty forgiving you can get away with a lot with the bottling or maybe it'll just be a bit fizzy or something but you can still drink it in the past back way back years ago i brewed in two liter plastic bottles sometimes and i had a few times where i would actually be drinking a, a bottle out of a two liter plastic bottle and i would be doing a brew or i'd be bottling a brew um, and I would, uh, this is like 10 years ago or something, and I would um, have this bottle and it would have sediment and everything in it and I've just been drinking out of it and I know that I'm the only one who's going to be drinking it. No one else is going to drink it, so no one else wanted to drink it. Um, so I, a few times I'd just fill up this bottle that I'd been drinking out of and I'd screw the lid on put the sugar in there obviously uh, I'd mark which one it was and then when the time came when it was um, you know when I was ready to drink it it actually was was fine there was no problem with it so you can get away with a hell of a lot with the bowling side it doesn't have a chance to develop infections and stuff the same way that it will when it, when it's brewing in the barrel like when it's brewing in the barrel from experience, that's where you'll get most of your problems. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stick a little bit. I'm going to stick a little bit of detergent, a little bit of t detergent in there, and make sure that it's really clean. Um, I'm going to. I'll pull the tap out and have a look at that. Make sure that there's no shit in there. Um, you know, so I'll just. I'll, I'll, I'll soap it, I'll make sure that every, every little speck of stuff is off the inside of it. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse it a few times and make sure that all of that soap is out of it. Um, and then I'm gonna start um, pouring boiling water into it. So, there you go.